What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another King James video. Now, today we're gonna be hitting the thrifts. Special moment, 35. <laughs> In the background, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a Pentax ZX30, and I think that's $49.94, so... Yeah, can I see this one right here, please? Yeah, that one. Looks like a Yashica mat. Yashica C. 80 mil, 3.5, okay. Let's see if these knobs actually turn. When they do, yeah, it looks to be in pretty good condition. Has a nice little case on it. Kind of steep at 200 bucks. So we'll keep on looking. But for now, we got the Yashica C. Can I see that one, please? Yeah. Thank you. All right. So I don't know if that's the price tag. This is 99.99. Got the middle to maximum 7,000. 50 mil 1.7. Lens looks actually be in pretty good condition. Uh, it does kind of have that aging on the lens here, as well as on the body. But all right, so here are all the point and shoots. We got a Nippon, little kind of plastic looking thing, a Casio disc looking camera. Ooh, this is kind of cool. What is this? It's a little digital camera. Can you actually look through it? Let me see. That's weird, you can actually look inside of there, kind of through it, but I don't think it actually focuses or anything like that, but that's pretty cool. You have a Canon ELF LT270 here, 698. Got the Pentax 105G. Okay, so this is a camera actually worthwhile getting. Um, I really, really love the Pentax IQZ Zoom series of cameras. Actually, I own like four of them. I actually like the thicker bodies too, they feel a lot better in the hand, so. How much is this camera? It's gonna run us 398. I think we're gonna go ahead and cop that. But check this out. They got an Epson Perfection 1670 scanner. I mean, you can always find some pretty cool scanners at thrift stores. I'm not sure if this one does 35 mil. Built in 35 mil slide and film strip adapter for scanning and slats. So I guess it does have a built in little adapter there, but that's pretty cool. Special moment, 35 mil focus free camera. And just look at how yellow the plastic has gotten. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, you guys, so that is one camera in the bag. We're gonna do a recap at the end of this video, but right now we're gonna head out to the second location. And today we're gonna try to hit at least three to four more thrift stores just so we can really see what we can find. So let's jump in the car and get down that way. <laughs> All right, so we're already seeing some heat. So I think I'll grab this one. Okay. Can I see this one right here, please? So they're asking like 99.99 with 25% off. So 75 bucks for a Canon A1 program. Looks like it has a little bit of like a, I don't know what that green stuff is, but that's some type of residue. Also featuring a Canon 51.8. What's up to my guy, Ralph? Hey, what's up, man? Just came out the cuts. He was like, yo, are you Jonathan? I was like, yeah. <laughs> you got some dope ink. What's on there? Oh, thanks, man. I got a skull with the, the snake, some eagles. That's dope. Yeah. And you're from San Jose? Yeah, San Jose. Sick. Shout out to the guy, Ralph. You want to shout out your Instagram? Uh, my Instagram is rrr.us. Damn, there you go. <laughs> Found it. Uh, can I see some of these cameras? All right, you guys, so we are back home, and what I want to do really quick is just recap all of the things that we found today. And I'll be completely honest with you guys, it was pretty dry, so I had to go back an extra time, which was earlier this morning. I'm filming this the next day, um, and I actually found some really cool stuff, which I'll be adding on into today's thrift. All right, so let's start off with the point and shoots. The first camera we found was this Pentax IQZ Zoom. Uh, it's the 105G, and uh, I mentioned in the video, I do like the thicker bodies, and these cameras are actually really good, but they're slept on, so and I picked this up here for a whopping $3.98, so pretty happy with this find, man, and yeah, it's going into my personal collection. All right, next camera we found here is this Canon SureShot 
uh, 105 zoom. Everything is about 105 today. And as you can see, this was like 698, but I think there was like a 25% off for the uh, yellow color. So it ended up being about like five or $4, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, these cameras are always really, really good. And if you've ever shot with one of these before, you guys know that these are really solid as well. Uh, actually, my mom used one of these cameras to photograph my childhood. So it's cool to kind of get a replicated copy and yeah, pretty cool camera for six bucks. All right, and next up, sticking to the Minolta gang, we found this little Minolta point and shoot for $4.96. Uh, but again, there was about 50% off on this one. So it ended up being like $2.50. Now this is the first time that I've actually seen this camera. I don't know much about it. It says Family Zoom 2, and it has a 35 to 80 mil lens, or 60 mil lens, excuse me. Here it is, the Minolta Family Zoom 2. You know, probably good for taking photos of your family back in the 90s. And the last point and shoot we found was another Pentax. Folks, this is the Pentax IQZ something. I honestly don't know what it is off the top of my head, but here it is. I got it for another whopping six bucks. And yeah, this one is kind of like the other one, just in a black version. Now, it's funny because on the back of this camera, it says 94. So the last person I'm pretty sure that used this camera was you know, back in 1994, which is pretty cool to see when you have data backs like that. Uh, but this one just looks a little bit more sleek than the champagne silver one that we got earlier. And I'm really digging the body shape again with that thicker body. So that's the Pentax IQZ Zoom IR uh, for seven bucks. So here are all of the point and shoot cameras that we found today. Some really cool, some I don't know about, but nonetheless, pretty awesome finds today at the thrift. All right, the next item we found is probably the one I was most stoked on, and it's this thing right here. It's a Canon 50 millimeter 1.8 lens, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says 1496. Now that that's on the video, I can take it off completely. You know, this would be a great lens to fit on something like a Canon A1 or a uh, Canon AE1 program. And speaking on a Canon AE1 program, I saw this green color that looked very familiar. And that green color ended up being this camera right here, folks. This is the Canon AE-1 program. I saw the little program that down deep at the very bottom, and I was like, yo, that's an AE-1 program for sure. So I dug deep, and yeah, I pulled the camera out. Now, I've tested this with the battery, and it works. It does have a little bit of a squeak, so I'm going to have to kind of repair that. But, I mean, I got this for $4, and again, if you pair it up with the 50 mil lens that we were just talking about, this is an insanely good and decent setup. I mean, with the lens combined, the lens was 50% off, so it was like seven bucks for $4 for the Canon A1 program. I mean, we spent about $12 total, $11, $12 total um, on this kit right here, so. And the last find for today's thrifting adventure was actually found when I went back. Check it out, y'all. We got this giant brown leather bag in. All right, so it's still kind of zip tied over into the bag here. I'm gonna try to make this work. All right, y'all, check it out. It's a Minolta SRT202 in working condition, and it also has a 50 millimeter 1.4. This was the price on it, 34.95, 34.93 with 50% off. So I actually have the receipt right here, and I don't know if you guys can see that. It says I saved 17 bucks. Grand total was about $18. So 18 bucks for this entire kit. Yo, okay, I didn't even see this, but it includes a roll of Agfa Vista. That's pretty cool. A couple of different filters. And lastly, a popular Lightmatic 16C uh, mini flash, which is actually pretty dope. So we paid about 18 bucks for all of that, including the AE1 program. If the combo were together, it'd be like 12 bucks. Plus all of the point and shoot cameras, folks. I mean, we came out pretty successful today, I feel like so. That was today's thrifting adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have been thrifting lately. Leave all of your finds in the comment section down below. What was your best thrift find? I want to know. But again, folks, thank you again for tuning in to another King James video. There's going to be a ton of more videos coming in the future. I have videos set for each week through October. Um, and yeah, man, I'm really excited to bring more content to you guys. So if you like these videos, drop a like down below and let me know. And as always, stay lucky at the thrifts. Minolta gang.